I know you, you are a Conservative. But unfortunately, right now, we've got an uplift in benefits, we've got the wealthy paying more tax, we've got a windfall tax, we've got £6 billion that's being spent on insulation, we've got no fracking, so the big green agenda's won, and we've got no growth. You are now, essentially, in the Labour Party, aren't you? No, that's, that, that is simply not the case. Um, I think, you know, the, the Chancellor was quite clear today that the, the, the great threat we, f we face is inflation. Uh, and, I, and I think we, today what we heard was a statement to tackle inflation. Look, none of us want to increase taxes. It's not something that I came into politics to do. It doesn't seem comfortable with me. If we are going to increase taxes, so it's best that those with the broadest shoulders bear the biggest burden, which is what we've seen today. Um, and I'm also pleased that the triple lock has been protected. Um, and actually, you know, put, putting benefits up in line for inflation, we, we are heading into an incredibly difficult phase. And I think providing that financial assistance to those with the lowest income, I think, is, is a good thing and a conservative thing. I think being compassionate is, is a conservative quality. Some people are saying, what's the point in voting Tory? Because you're taxing the living hack out of us and you're not controlling immigration either. Well, you know, you know how strongly I feel on immigration. I mean, I couldn't have been any clearer this week. Uh, with, with, with the government on the need to tackle that. Um, I, I have been uh, assured time and time again by a Prime Minister and the Home Secretary that they are urgently working on a plan to deal with it. Uh, and I really hope they're successful. Uh, but ultimately, look, none of us left uh, the House of Commons chamber today with a spring in our uh, step. I mean, a lot of that, you know, that the global economic situation is grim. The war in Ukraine doesn't um, show any signs of ending anytime soon. The challenges are going to be here with us for a long time. But at the same time, when we look at the government's response to that grim international outlook, uh, I think it was fair and reasonable. OK, all right. And just before I get on to a couple of our viewers' questions, because viewers have been sending in some of their thoughts, really, on this budget, gbviews at gbnews.uk, why aren't you coming out and attacking Labour and the Lib Dems a little bit more? They wanted, you know, harder, tighter, faster lockdowns. The Labour Party, last time they went to a general election, Jeremy Corbyn was their man. He wasn't exactly the big growth agenda, was he? He was spend, spend, spend. And the reality is that they were happy for Corbyn to have done that. And they stood behind him. That wouldn't have caused growth. And they would have probably spent more during the pandemic, which we're still paying off now for lockdowns. Come on, where's the, where's the impetus here? Jeremy Hunt, I mean, he's... He's just so dull and he's just accepting British decline. It's miserable. I, look, I mean, I, I think in terms of, you know, us attacking the Labour Party, the first thing I'd say is fundamentally we're in government, we've got to, we've got to tackle the problems. But, you know, it is fair enough. I mean, today we heard, you know, a, a, a huge amount of criticism from the Labour Party. They kept on talking about the need to have a plan that they themselves haven't even got anything that re remotely resembles a plan for how they, how, they, how they promote growth and how they deal with inflation. I think any, any hint of anything they suggested would make the inflation challenge even worse. Uh, and, and, and when it comes to other challenges, such as immigration, um, we know it would be even worse for the Labour Party. But ultimately, we're in government. We've got to tackle the issues that face the country.